Evil Softman here. Now, it's a very special difference. We're having a look at the TV. Now, you notice, this is the TV we normally use. This is my 40-inch Samsung HD TV. And it's pretty damn good. It plays most things. I'm quite impressed with it. Apart from the little times it cuts out when we're watching DVDs. But we don't want them to gripe. Hi, it has 50,000 to 1 uh, contra. It has 100 hertz. It is has four HDMI slots and two SCART. But we're not talking about that TV today. We're talking about this TV. Look at it. <laughs> we think it's a 26 inch non widescreen. And no remote control. Or that we can find. But there's like seven to choose from. We'll work it out at some <laughs> point. Yes. But today is a very special pickups day because it's not mine. <laughs> That's right, it's me for once. It's probably the only time you'll ever get this. So, Basically, uh, it's two consoles. Very reasonable prices. Uh, one of which is Sega Saturn, which I got for around 40 quid. You can see it's just resting just under the TV there. Also got with that three games. Well, two games that came with it. We got, see, yeah, Daytona USA, which is apparently quite good. Uh, I think FIFA, we need to do a Steven Will for it though. Yeah. Yeah. Stop moving. Uh, FIFA 97 speaks for itself. And also yeah. one that Evil Softman got me because <laughs> he's nice. Bug! It's an awesome game. Tested the sound out with it. Yeah. But we'll soon see if it still works. And this other monstrosity <laughs> underneath here is. As, can a, you read it? <laughs> this is a Philips CDI. Uh, CDI. 210, which is the second model, so it's actually slightly smaller. Uh, not, that you, not, not, not that you'd really notice. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's like that long. <laughs> you can see how wide it is. But this is on that. This is, I got that for free because the museum, uh, I work at the British Golf Museum, and we're gradually phasing out these and putting new, better interactives in. Uh, so I got this for free, along with the roller controller <laughs> the almighty roller controller that every primary school kid wanted yeah basically i'll just show you quickly this is a partly educational game as you know most of the games on the cdi were slightly educational uh so this is great british golf so you can see the ball moves moves the little arrow so you got history golf the introduction then you got little game of course, playoff, which we just played, and, and it's still as evil uh, as it was back then. You've also got a screen glitch, which is what it's wonderful for. But that should say trivia quiz. I'll have a quick look at that when I slam in the buttons. Mm. That speaks for itself, really. So, I'll tell you, what's your favorite number? Seven. <laughs> Ah, so this is the different difficulty settings. Right, since you chose it, which difficulty do you want for question? Uh, go birdie. Very correct. Who was the first American to win the amateur championship? Oh fuck! Time limit. Oh, uh, what Travis? See, because I work in the museum, I'll probably expect it to get this right, so I'm going to try and do it. Uh, which open champion is this? <laughs> See, that's great, isn't it? I obviously know my work. Anyway, that's enough of that. That is the Philips CDI. Obviously, it takes you on a little game. You can probably do sort of all 18 and treat it yeah. a bit like stroke play but but with this at any point it just does whoever's yeah. got the best best golf score but that's enough of that i so, know so just like to mention the crt monitor not all this flashing is not it's actually not, not it, on the tv it's not on the tv it's just the crt going down and basically really annoying quite uh, annoying for it <laughs> so there'll probably right. be no videos on these <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> unless you like right. the whole kind of I bet you fiddle about with it. Right, it's ridiculous television. Yeah, it has no we, remote as yet. Oh, that we can find what we think. 
No, it's the volume. <laughs> oh, bollocks. Don't worry, we got a bit of time left. There we go. Right, here it is. <sighs> I'll let you hold that again. Yeah. Sega Sang. <laughs> which is. One I got two controllers with this as well. Uh, one of them is totally fucked, basically. And as you can see, the battery on this is not very good either. No. It just whizz through this, it keeps. Uh, there we go. It's, it's January 1994, people. There we go. <laughs> as you can see. I, I don't actually know much about this console, but one of my second cousins had one uh, with Bug. And I absolutely loved it. And so when I saw this on eBay, I managed to get it for about forty quid. Uh, it was it was too tempting, really. Unfortunately, it does keep doing that. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> we don't know why, but it's something we can work on. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the music in this is strangely um, catchy. For anybody who knows Bug or Bug 2. Yeah, there you go. He thinks he's so cool. He really does. Now, on the other one, you had to mash the start button. On the other controller, you had to mash it with sort of two fingers just to get it to work properly. Yeah, so basically it's not hitting the contact points. Yeah. Inside the controller, which you could probably fix, but... We're lazy. Yeah. Wait. Well, that's Evil Softman do the sort of technical uh -huh. thing for this kind of game. Uh -huh. All I know is it's weird. It is very weird. <laughs> and quite addictive. As he said earlier, this game is a master at invisible walls. Yes. Yeah, that kind of sums this game up. See, just running and jumping around. I refuse to read the instruction booklets to try and find out what all these different things do. Because we're men, and men do not look at instructions. We figure out blind. Ah, <laughs> oh, it interrupted it! Every time you pick up health, it just goes, is it? Bug juice! Or something to that effect, anyway. See, there's not much to this first level, but uh, well, uh, yeah, whatever he said there. Certainly, days we're just well, figuring things out. So, and you know, you can just use this bit to uh, give him a bit of concussion. Stop hitting yourself! Stop hitting yourself! <laughs> <laughs> Look, there you go, Invis invisible wall problem is sort of there. You've got to be very precise in yeah. where you where you aim, but I was, I was saying earlier this kind of feels like a cross between uh, a test of Mario 64 and Earthworm Jim. <laughs> Mainly because it's insane, but has this obviously kind of what say, pseudo 3D. I hate that. Yeah. yeah. By the way, oh, really check cool. out the boxers on that. Yeah, enough said about that. But you know, it's not just also that, it also does a sort of overhead little view there. Which helps with the different puzzles that it throws at you, so it is quite interesting. I will just kill myself there. Maybe he'll go into a bit of squish! <laughs> well, I think we're near enough. Yeah. Obviously there's checkpoints and stuff in it, but we'll stop there. Yeah. Pretty much. So uh, we discovered this TV. <laughs> the woes. Went back to the pretty TV. Yeah, it's the better TV, <laughs> which we'll be using um, from now on, basically. Yeah. Okie doke. So this is Evil Softman. And Cyberlanky. Ah, uh, signing out.